Hi, I'm Susan. I'm one of the dental hygienists here at Harris Dental, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about gum disease. You may also hear us refer to it as periodontal disease. It's caused by a bacteria, um, or several strains of bacteria in some cases, and I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what, uh, what things should look like and what they can look like when you have periodontal disease. In this picture, we see what a tooth looks like when it's perfectly healthy. There's no disease present. This is the bone that comes up and totally supports that tooth in the socket, and there's fibers that attach the tissue to the side of the tooth. Now, when there's any kind of gum disease present, we start to see some changes in the gum tissue. It starts to get a little bit puffy, and that's one of the symptoms of gum disease is red, puffy gums. Uh, and what we do in the office is we take a little, what we call a dental ruler, basically, and we get a measurement of how deep that pocket is uh, between the tooth and the gum. In this case, this is about a four millimeter pocket, and that indicates gingivitis. That's the first stage of periodontal disease, and it's the only stage of periodontal disease that is completely reversible because there is no bone loss and there's no attachment loss. Now, if things progress and bacteria is allowed to stay in that pocket, it starts to break down some of the structures around your teeth. So in this picture, we see that there's a slight amount of bone loss. And when we take that measuring tool, we are able to go a little bit deeper. So this is a five millimeter pocket. Uh, also notice that that tissue has actually pulled away from the side of the tooth because some of those fibers are missing. If periodontal disease is left untreated, then it will progress into what we call moderate periodontitis. And in this picture, we can see that there is more bone loss and that ruler goes deeper down into the structures there. So this is a six millimeter pocket and that's something that um, you know we want to avoid. We want to make sure that uh, we don't let things progress any further. So it's very important that you come in for a periodontal screening so that we can see where you are. The best time to catch this is in the early stages. You may notice at home, if you, if you have uh, puffy gums, if your gums bleed when you brush or floss, if you notice maybe a little bad breath, that's another symptom. And by the way, there's usually no pain associated with this, and that's why a lot of times patients don't realize that they have periodontal disease because there's generally no pain associated with this disease. So we'd love to have you come in, uh, get a screening, and we can put together a treatment plan for you, and we'll go from there.